And when we come to the last example, factorize 3x squared minus 10xy minus 8y squared. And we break down the 3x squared term to 3x times x minus 8y squared. We have minus 8y times y or xy times minus y or minus 4y times plus 2y or plus 4y times minus 2y. And now the middle term is minus 10xy. And now we can see that the middle term is minus 10xy, the coefficient of the middle term, minus 10, which is quite large. And uh, it is also an even number. And look at the term 3x squared. Both 3 and 1, they are odd number, done so. And minus 10 is an even number. And so 3x and x should pair up with two even numbers because uh, only an odd number multiply an even number will get even number. And uh, if we choose uh, such as uh, minus xy times plus y, we have an odd number here. And therefore, you will never come up with an even number middle term. And therefore, in this case, we should choose 4y and 2y. We can simply cross out xy and y since they are not possible. And after some mental calculation, we have 3x and x and uh, plus 2y minus 4y. Since uh, 3x times minus 4y, we have minus 12xy. And then x times 2y, we have plus 2xy. Then for minus 12 plus 2, we get minus 10xy. And then for the answer, we will be 3x plus 2y times x minus 4y.